Jardine Campground is a national park campground at the southern end of the Margaret River area in Western Australia. There are sites for all sizes of vehicles. You do need to book online and being a national park, unfortunately, dogs are not allowed. We stayed at site 10 and as you can see from this aerial shot, the sites are located off to the side of the road around the track. Details of the size of each site is included in the details when you book online. You can see another site there in front of us to the right and as we go higher there's another site behind us just there. There's plenty of privacy between the sites and as the track goes around in a circle no one is too far from the toilets or the camp kitchen. We much prefer to stay in this style of bush campground and the fact that we can have a fire, that's an absolute plus for us. Jarradine used to be a timber mill, logging Jarra, of course. There are some short walks around the campground with information panels to explain how things were done years gone by. There's rusty relics along the walking track too. This is the camp kitchen. It has everything you need, but it also has a weatherproof book with lots of history to read about the area. We camped at Jarradine in spring and while we did our walk, we came across lots of wildflowers too. Wildlife wasn't as plentiful as we'd hoped, but we knew it must be there somewhere. So we set up the night camera and we found a couple of little guys who came to visit while we were in bed. Hamlin Bay is just a short drive from Jarradine Campground, so we went for a day trip. Unfortunately though, it's too cold for the stingrays, who are known to be in the area during summer. We also took a drive out to the Margaret River mouth, which is not far from the Jarradine Campground. There's lots more to the Margaret River area than just wine. This is an interesting artwork at Margaret River. It's a woman breastfeeding a whale. Jarradine is a good base to check out the caves in the area. This one is Jewel Cave, supposedly the prettiest cave of the lot. Some coloured LEDs turned this section of the cave into a rainbow. Another cave to visit is Mammoth Cave. Fossil remains have been found here. We actually both enjoyed this cave, the best of them all. After exiting the cave, there's a cute little bushwalk with stepping stones across the creek and heaps of wildflowers too along this part of the walk. Another activity that doesn't involve wine while you're exploring Margaret River is the Eagle Heritage Park. It's a free flight show and it is the most amazing flight show we have ever seen. All of these raptors have been found sick or injured and have been rehabilitated here. Eagle Heritage is now their home, as it's safer for them to live here than to be released back into the wild. 
We visited all these places and more while we used Jardine Campground as our base. We loved it so much and we will definitely come back here.